Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Ferris, uh, owner of Summit Equine here in Oregon. For outside aspiration, we sedate the mare much like you would for joint injections. We then place a ultrasound probe in the vaginal vault of the mare and bring the ovary against the vaginal wall. We can then visualize the individual follicles on ultrasound and place a needle inside of each one of these follicles. The needle is a double lumen needle, allowing us to both aspirate and inject fluid at the same time. So this allows us to wash the follicle completely. And the main thing that we need to do in the horse, um, as compared to cattle, is really scrape the wall of that follicle to remove the oocyte um, in its bed of cumulus cells uh, away from the follicular wall and allow us to recover that individual oocyte. So after collecting our oocytes and grading them, we'll go ahead and package them for shipment to an ICSI laboratory, uh, such as the one that Dr. Lisa Metcalf maintains here in Portland. So at our equine IVF lab, we receive oocytes from veterinarians from all over the United States. We take those oocytes, which are either matured in the mare or immature oocytes, and we inject them with a single sperm. Those developing embryos are in our incubator for seven to 10 days. Then we ship them back fresh and they are transferred into a surrogate mare. This process is very similar to how we would transfer a traditional in vivo produced embryo, as though we bred and flushed and recovered an embryo from a mare. And so with this technique, we pass a CASU gun through the vaginal vault, through the cervix, up into the uterus. We then go in rectally and guide that CASU gun towards the tip of one uterine horn and gently deposit that embryo. We'll be able to do a pregnancy exam on this mare in the next four to seven days to determine if she's in full. For oocyte aspiration, I've elected to use the Exopad, mostly because of the fact that it's a simple standalone system. It's easy to put together, it has one probe um, that's very easy to assemble and to utilize. It gives us a great image for follicular aspiration and our recovery rate has been very good uh, since switching to this platform. We utilize a lot of IMV consumables for a lot of our procedures, especially for the embryo transfer process, due to the fact that they've had a long reputation in the equine reproduction industry for providing high quality products and a very consistent product. That's the nice thing about it is year to year, um, there's almost no variability in the product that we got last year compared to this year. It's really an exciting time in equine reproduction. Um, we've had so many advances in our technical procedures that we can perform to help our clients generate foals, whether that's through traditional breeding with deep horn insemination, with low doses of frozen semen, to embryo transfer, to now with oocyte aspiration and the ability to ship these oocytes to uh, central locations for the actual ICSI procedure and, and fertilization. Um, it's really an exciting time for veterinarians and for our clients and being able to present them with multiple options to help them produce foals on a routine basis. Thank you.